Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson with whoismatt.com, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to turn this into this. Today I'm going to be showing you how to conform 60p 60 frames per second footage to 24p 24 frames per second footage on a PC using Adobe After Effects. This is going to result in really pretty slow motion shots. This is especially useful if you have a Canon 7D or T2i with the ability to shoot at 60 frames per second and you would like to slow it down. Also this tutorial works if you have a higher frame rate of footage such as that shot with a GoPro HD or Phantom. As an added bonus, this tutorial shows you how to conform your footage all at once instead of clip by clip. If you have a Mac, Philip Bloom has an excellent tutorial for how to conform footage using Cineform. Unfortunately, PC users don't have the option of using Cineform, so we're more limited in our options. It is possible to do this easily using products such as Twixstore, for example, which may offer better results, but this comes at the cost of $595, so... I would rather not pay for something that I can do natively in After Effects. Also I have read about people stretching their footage using After Effects time stretch feature, but I have found this to generate great results on its own with no calculations or frame blending or motion blur or stretching. Now let's get started. Here is my raw 60 frames per second footage that I shot at 60 shutter speed. It's rather fast, so let's slow this down. Open up After Effects. I'm using CS3, but this tutorial also applies to CS4 and CS5. Now let's say you want to conform all this footage at once. Simple. Drag it all into After Effects. Or you can import it using their feature, but I just find this to be a little bit quicker. Select the first video file. As long as they're the same resolution, it should not matter which one you select. Now you're going to right click on it, select Interpret Footage, click Main, and that's going to bring up this lovely interpret footage dialog box. You're going to want to pay attention to frame rate and you're going to select conform to frame rate and it's going to say 59.94 frames per second. You don't want it to say that, you want it to say 23.976 frames per second which is essentially 24p. Now, you, there's going to be a warning that your audio may not synchronize. Your audio is not going to match up with this video clip anymore so just know that. Now you're going to select OK and congratulations, you have now interpreted this footage, so now it says that it is 23.976. Now if you're like me here, you have 10 or more video files that you need to conform, and instead of going through, right-clicking on each, and selecting interpret footage, and having to type in the individual information, instead select the video file that you already told After Effects to conform, right-click on it, go to interpret footage, and then select remember interpretation. Now, select all of your video clips that you need to conform, except for the one that you already told to conform. Right click, select interpret footage, and select apply interpretation. This results in every single one of these now saying conform to frame rate 23.976. Great time saver. You could try dragging all these video files into their own compositions and then rendering them out one by one, but this is going to take a large amount of time, especially whenever you factor in rendering time and the need to babysit the entire process. So instead of doing that, we are going to select all of our video clips. You will go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, and then instead of you needing to create every single composition manually, they're all created automatically for you and every single video file is now ready to be conformed from 60 frames per second down to 24 frames per second. Before you hit render, you will probably want to tweak some settings so you don't have huge files. I use a custom output format based on QuickTime JPEG that saves a lot of space in comparison to raw uncompressed footage. You can read more about it at videocopilot.net and I'll put a link to the exact instructions on whoismat.com. To set your custom output module, so you're not having to select individual output modules for every single video that you are rendering. When you select the output module from the drop down menu, hold down the control key and select the one that you want. Then when you add your files to the render queue, you do not have to select the individual output modules for each of your video clips. The only other thing that you really need to consider is where you are outputting your clips to. To save yourself time with selecting your output location, especially if you have a lot of files you are conforming, 
First, open After Effects and just render one clip, and save it to the folder that you want to save it to. That way, when you are rendering all of your clips, they will save by default to that folder, and you don't have to add each of them custom to the folder. The end result, after rendering, is footage that is going to look like this. If you would like to download this video file in HD to watch more easily, you can visit whoismat.com for the download link. To see some examples of 60p footage that has been slowed down to 24p using this technique, check out my George Bush Presidential Library video at whoismat.com slash George Bush Library. Thanks for watching.